Catherine and William enjoy a special holiday on Tresco Island in Cornwall with three children. There's definitely something about in the air when you're by the seaside that leaves you absolutely knackered by the end of the day. It may also be in part due to the fact that everything is so picturesque and the weather is so amazing that you end up spending every minute exploring the length and breadth of the island. The couple has nothing scheduled for the coming week, having only earmarked the BAFTAs this coming Sunday, February 19th. Their sparse calendar will give them a brief break to spend time with their three young children, who are on a half-term week from their school in Windsor Lambrook School. Royal commentator Jenny Bond has told that Kate and William cleared the diary for those important half-terms. She teased that the royals may choose to visit Sicily Isles or take them to the slopes. She said of their potential plans, Maybe they'll even go back to the Isles of Sicily for half-term, although it might be a bit cold in February. Jenny added how the island of Tresco, one of the five off the coast of Cornwall, is one of their favorite places to holiday as a family. The place may hold fond childhood memories for William, who holidayed in Tresco with his parents, Prince Charles and Princess Diana, and his brother, Prince Harry, in 1989. They've holidayed there with the children at least twice. They have a low profile there and they cycle around it. A holiday maker who saw the royal said, adding that they stay in a modest four-bedroom stone cottage while living like a normal family on holiday. The royal couple are believed to have traveled there for a staycation with their children, Prince George, who turned eight on July 22, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. They opted against the heading abroad with their three children as any potential need to quarantine could impact their ability to work. The Cornish Islands are renowned for their picturesque sandy beaches and their crystal clear blue water. From Tresco, the Cambridges would have the opportunity to explore the other islands, St. Mary's, St. Martin's, Briars, and St. Agnes, via tripper boats. The royal children first enrolled at the school in September, around the same time their great-grandmother, the Queen, sadly passed away. Last year, the Willises moved house from Kensington Palace to Adelaide Cottage near Winster, and if they opt to stay at home for half-term, Kate and William will have plenty of activities planned. While the Wales family were in Sandringham for Christmas, it is unclear if they have remained there in the lead-up to the New Year's celebrations or if they have perhaps returned to their home, Adelaide Cottage in Winster, for the remaining of the seasonal break. Prince William and Princess Kate's new home was chosen to give their children a quieter life in the countryside, but another potential reason for their relocation could be the fact that the prince's parents, Carol and Michael Middleton, and also her brother James and sister Pippa, live in Berkshire, which is a mere 40-minute drive from Winster. Mother of Free Carol will be more than capable of putting on a fantastic festive display considering her personal company, Party Pieces, creates party decor, everything from paper plates and buttoning through pop-ups and banners. By the end of January, it appears the family made a visit to the east of England when Prince William made a surprise appearance at a memorial service in Snettisham, Norfolk, paying respect to the village's 1,953 flood victims. While his wife, Princess Kate, and three kids were not at the service with the prince, it would have been a great opportunity for the family to enjoy a weekend away together at their beautiful country retreat. The couple recently completed a packed week of engagements that see them travel across the UK. On Monday, February 6, the Princess of Wales traveled to Derby, where she gleefully greeted Captain Preet Chandy after she completed a solo expedition across Antarctica. Last Thursday, the Prince and Princess of Wales made their maiden visit to Cornwall as Duke and Duchess. The couple spent the day in the country as they completed a series of engagements, which included a trip to Falmouth. They are due to attend the BAFTA awards ceremony this weekend following a lengthy two-year absence. Kensington Palace confirmed they would attend the show on February 19th at the South Bank's Royal Festival Hall. They will watch the ceremony and then go backstage to meet winners and EE Rising Star Award nominees.